Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me. I'm Sarah Sori, and in this video, you'll see a bunch of mascaras from high-end to drugstore brands that were put to my 8-hour smudge test. You see, I have these Asian eyes that smudge and smear anything and everything out there. So I decided to go and try all the waterproof and smudge-proof mascaras out there and to see if they really deliver what they promise. So in the past month or so, I put these mascaras to my smudge test. So in the past month or so, I tried on a mascara in the morning at around 6 a.m. and I took a picture at around 4 p.m. when I got home from work. So all of these pictures are taken at about 9 hours after applying it. I'm going to let the pictures do the talking. So as you can see from my little smudge test experiment, the only mascara that did not smudge on me was the Too Faced Lash Injection. This is sold at Ulta and Sephora. So I do have to tell you that there were other mascaras that I did try in the past three years or so that smudged as well. All the three mascaras from Dior have smudged on me. Um, Too Faced Better Than Sex, It Cosmetics, Benefit The Real, and The Roller Ball. They have all smudged and smeared. So for me, the only mascara that did not smudge or smear was the Too Faced Lash Injection. This is sold at Ulta and Sephora. Now, if you have any mascaras that you've tried that don't smudge or smear, please comment below. I would love to give it a try. And make sure to hit like and subscribe. The next big project for smudging, smearing eyes will be gel liners. So stay tuned and stay connected with me. Thank you for watching and you'll be able to see all of these pictures that were put to my smudge test on my website at sarasori.com. You can also find me on Instagram at sarasori. Bye and see you next time.